If you've been following my story at all, you know that my life over the last couple of years, even before COVID, has been a series of transitions and turmoil and health crises. And now, especially during the pandemic, there's been so much upheaval in my life. At times, it feels like I have nothing to give. I have no energy. I have... I feel like I have nothing. I feel like everything isn't working and there's, there's no life left. Um, everything's lifeless, everything's bare, everything's barren. And I know that I'm not the only one that feels that way. I know that it is so difficult to find the emotional and physical energy to keep going for so many of us in such a long season of change and transition and things just not being normal, of uncertainty and limbo. And the reason I wanted to make this video is I had this moment a couple days ago that just helped me, it gave me hope and it gave me an image to hang on to and I want to share that with you. So here in Canberra in Australia, it's near the end of winter and I was driving down the road a few days ago and on the side of the road I saw a series of trees, bare branches, no leaves, but I saw these buds, they were covered in buds. They weren't flowers, there wasn't really any colour on them yet either, but I could see that they were just about ready to burst and to become flowers, to, be, to become blossoms, that very soon these bare, barren looking trees were going to burst forth and be covered in beauty, right? And there was just this crystallizing moment of insight that this is where I'm at, that this season of life I'm going through is a time where I just have to bring all my energy in because there's just not enough to go around because life is just too cold and a little bitter right now. And that's okay. It's okay to withdraw within myself, withdraw my energy within myself when I need to and, and, and do what I have to do to get through. As long as I don't stay there, as long as I don't believe it's always going to be this way and get stuck in that mindset of, how things are right now is how they will always be. That image of those trees reminded me that what looks barren in my life now, what looks dead in my life now, isn't. It's just a season. And things will change. There are flowers waiting to burst forth. There will be leaves again. There will be fruit again in all these different parts of my life. And so while the grief is real, and needs to be expressed while the pain is real and needs to be acknowledged while the uncertainty and limbo I'm living through right now is really difficult that will not characterize my life forever this is a season and for me that image is really helpful and powerful because it was an image of a bare and barren tree but it was also an image of what will change and will come at some point. It was an image of the precipice of change. I don't know when that change is going to come. I don't know when my situation will change. I don't know when I'll be able to live in the same country as my husband again. I don't know when I'll be able to work the way I used to. I probably never will. I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to the country I was living in and say goodbye properly. Um, but I don't have to know. I can just move through the seasons of my life as they come and that's okay. So I hope that for you that image can also be helpful, can also bring hope. Whether you are in a season like me right now where things feel dead and barren or whether you're living in a, in a time of abundance in your life right now but this can give you an image to hang on to for the next bad and hard and cold season you walk through. Or even if it gives you an image to understand how friends in your life might be feeling right now. Thank you for walking with me through this. Thank you for all the messages of encouragement and hope I've received. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to respond to everybody. It, it gets difficult <laughs> at times and overwhelming, but I do try. And um, I hope to talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.